Good day, grade 5. Welcome to our science class. I am Teacher Joey, your virtual teacher for today. Today class, we will travel to another lesson in science. I know and I am sure that you are all excited for another fun-filled learning activities for today. So let us now begin. But wait class, before we start our discussion, try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Kindly bring out your pen and paper so that you could jot down some important notes needed for your learning. Always remember class that having knowledge is having a power. Today class, we are going to discuss about electric circuit and its type. Last meeting, we discussed about how light interact with different materials. This time, I will show you a picture and identify this picture and how they interact with objects for our number one very good this is reflection okay how about item number two very good this is an absorption next let's proceed to item number three yes excellent this is refraction and then the last number, very good, this is transmission. Look at this picture. What do they do? Yes, the people in the picture are using devices that are powered by what you call electricity that flows through the wires. Many objects that we use in our everyday routines are powered by electricity from radios, computers, laptops, cell phones, hair dryers, lamps, air conditioning units to washing machines are powered by electricity. Just simply look around your house. How many appliances that you have? How many are currently plugged into your outlets? Most household have several devices. They make use of electricity. The number of appliances that we have at home shows how important electricity is in our everyday living. But my question now is, how is current electricity is produced? How does electricity flow in our homes and in our appliances? So the focus of this lesson is all about electricity so at the end of this lesson you are expected to infer the necessary to make a bulb light up and use a schematic diagram to represent circuits so what is current electricity so electricity that is moving through a wire or any conductor and back to its starting point is what you call current electricity Current electricity is produced by the flow of electrons. This electrons is the negative charge of an atom or a particles. Current electricity flows through a conductor. So take note of that. It flows through the conductor because conductor are materials through which electrons flow easily. So alam naman natin na ang mga metals are good conductors just like we have copper wires na mostly ginagamit as a conductors of electric current in many homes so another examples of conductors that include aluminum iron silver and platinum so those are what you call conductors of electricity look at the diagram study very well can you say something about it? So based on the diagram that we have, the battery, wire, switch, and bulb are the components of simple circuit in which shows how a light bulb lighten up. And that is electric circuit. Electric circuit 
is a continuous path over which electrons move. It composed of four important parts, the source, the wires, the load, and the switch. If all of these materials are complete in a simple setup, the bulb will lighten up. So let's discuss one by one. The first one is source. The source of potential energy provides potential difference for the current to flow. This is where electricity is coming. The examples of this source is the battery or a generator. Number two important parts of electric circuit is what you call the load. It is the device, gadget, or appliance that uses the electricity from the source. The load provides the resistance. So, the load there is the light bulb. Next, number three is the wires or the path. Connect the various circuit components and provides a complete path for the current to flow. It also serves as the electricity's connection from the source to all other parts and then back to the source. Number four important parts is the switch. It controls the flow of electricity from the source. It is also to turn the current flow on and off. There are different ways to describe an electric circuit. Aside from words or drawing that can be used to describe a circle, symbols are used to provide a schematic diagram of an electric circuit. A schematic diagram shows how the electric circuit is constructed. These schematic diagrams are easier to use because it uses standard symbols that are used and can be understood by people all over the world. We have the following symbol. We have the wire, the battery, the switch, and the bulb. So the function of the source or electricity ex examples is generators or the batteries. We have these symbols. Number two, the switch. Its function is to control the flow of electricity from the source. It is used to turn on and turn off of a load. Examples is switches. And this is the schematic diagram. Number three, we have path or wire. Its function is the pathway of electricity from the sources to the load. Examples is the electric wires or the electric cords. So that is the schematic diagram or the symbol. Next, number four is the load. Its function is an appliance or device that uses electricity from a source. The example is there is electric wires and electric cords, but that's, that is not right. The example of that is bulb. So we have the symbol. Okay, that is the symbol. This time, study the diagram. What can you observe about this diagram? Very good. This is an open and a closed circuit. An open circuit, if any of the paths of electric current is disconnected the circuit is called open circuit it is a circuit that does not allow electricity to flow from one end to the other because the gap within the path of the electricity so that is an open circuit so ibig sabihin pag ang um, open circuit ibig sabihin yan naka close yung ilaw. In other words, kapag ang ilaw nyo ay bukas, that is in the closed circuit. So, closed circuit, the wires connect one terminal of the battery to the other. The bulb is lit. Ibig sabihin, buhay. Ibig sabihin, bukas. 
electric current flows only through a closed circuit. So in other words, it is a circuit that allows electricity to freely move from one end of the circuit to the other end. So if the circuit is broken, the current will stop flowing. Sir, paano naman umiikot yung current sa closed circuit? So ganito yon. The electrons move from the dry cell to the bulb and then back to the source through the two pieces of copper wire. So that is how the flow of the current in closed circuit. Electricity is very important because it makes our lives easier by enabling devices or appliances to work. However, when not used properly, it could cause fire, electric shock, and even death. So there are safety rules and precautions in using electricity. Number one is never touch an open wire with bare hands replace worn out electrical insulator. What does it mean? Ibig sabihin, kapag open wire, yung iyong wire, never nyong itouch yon. Kasi, ang tendency is, baka ikaw ay makuryente. And, if ever na ganun yung mag, makakalabasan ng iyong kuryente, kailangan ma-replace yon o kaya i-electrical tape. Number two, avoid octopus connection because too many appliances plug in one socket might cause fire just like shown in the picture. Next one is unplug all electrical appliances when not in use. Aside from this, stop the cause of overheating and fire. It can reduce the rate of electrical consumption. So that is the best thing to do. Na kapag hindi ginagamit ang isang appliances or anything na naka-plug, naka kailangan yung iyan plug. Ang number one is um, malilesen yung ating electrical bill. And the number two is hindi tayo makakakos ng sunog. Number four, never go near wires with cuts or those that fell to the ground this could electrocute you. So, meaning pag may nagtatrabaho or anything na nakalaylay ang mga kuryente, so never go doon sa baba. Kasi may tendency or di mo alam ang disgrasya, baka ikaw ay makuryente. Another one is unplug electrical wiring during brownouts or thunderstorm. So, number six, do not touch the switch or plug-ins if any part of your body is wet. So, alam naman natin na ang water is a good source of electricity or a good conductor of electricity. So, those are the safety rules and precautions in using electricity. And then, last one is when repairing any electrical equipment or devices, it is better to unplug or use proper tools with plastic or wooden handles before handling them. So that is very important na kapag kayo ay nag-aayos or nagkukumpuni ng mga electricity nyo, kailangan ay i-unplug muna bago ayusin. This time, you cannot answer this question. So number one is... How is current electricity is produced? Number two, how does electricity flow in our homes and in our appliances? So to answer that, number one is how is current electricity is produced? So current electricity is produced by the flow of electrons, just like in this diagram. So number two, how does electricity flow in our homes and in our appliances? So, we have two conditions must met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be source of electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. So with that, you can now answer the following questions. 